In this video, I'm gonna talk about why BPA-free is not better. and nutritionist Catherine Maslin. Welcome to Two Minutes to Health. In this video, we want to talk about why BPA-free isn't actually better. So before we do that, let's talk about what BPA actually is. So BPA or bisphenol A is a plastic chemical. So it's a chemical found in plastic that will actually leach into your food and drink. You'll consume it in your body and it will actually affect um, your health. So what bisphenol A is, it's an endocrine disrupting chemical. It will come into your system. It will actually bind with your estrogen receptors and your hormonal receptors and it will cause effects in the body. So we know from research that BPA intake has been associated with things like infertility, learning difficulties in children, even high blood pressure. It actually has a wide range of effects across the body because it affects our entire endocrine system. So our endocrine system is all about regulating. It's your thyroid, your ovaries, your adrenal glands. So it's really important that it stays in balance. It's really important to avoid bisphenol A. Now what you might have noticed is that a lot of plastic products are now saying that they're BPA free, which you would think is a good thing, but unfortunately, when they take BPA out, they put other bisphenol chemicals in. So a BPA free plastic is likely to contain things like BPS and other bisphenol chemicals. So one study found that BPS was a, over a hundred times more potent than BPA in its endocrine disrupting effects. So it isn't actually a good option at all. The only really safe thing to do in this situation is to avoid plastics altogether, particularly when they're in contact with our food and drink. So the first thing that needs to go is plastic water bottles. You must use a stainless steel or glass water bottle for best results. The second thing is you need to consider if you're eating food, has it come into contact with plastic? You need to stop using plastic Tupperware kind of storage containers for food because when you put your food in there, especially if it's wet, it will actually leach BPA into there. If you put it into the microwave, it's even worse. So one study showed that when you heat it up plastic that had BPA in it, it leached 55 times more BPA into your food. Okay, so that's a lot. So the other thing when you want to consider that is if you're drinking coffee out of takeaway cups, so that is lined in plastic which contains BPA or bisphenol chemicals in it too. So you heat, put the hot coffee in it and you're basically drinking endocrine disruptors. Canned food is lined with plastic that will have bisphenol chemicals in it. Um, and the other thing is Tetra Packs and Long Life like UHT foods or anything that's kind of stored in plastic on the shelf will have some kind of plastic chemicals in it. So I actually believe that no plastic is safe. What we know about plastics now, um, it's, it's, it's appalling. And there's all these new chemicals that are being put into plastics that aren't even tested or measured for health effects. So really avoid them if you can. So my name is Catherine Maslin. This has been Two Minutes to Health. Thanks for joining me. Please do subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time.